this is an explanation of the ESP32 project that is associated with this project controlling electrical switches. As I told you, this consists of three projects Web API, C Sharp WinForms, and ESP32. This I have already explained, and now I am covering this one. My suggestion is that before you cover this, you should go through the video article. This article, the link of this I will throw in your editions. This article explains getting started with ESP32 from unboxing to blinking and LED. I will suggest that you go through this article. It consists of four videos, unboxing an ESP32 module, installing VS code, and then upload and run hello world project this is the source code of that project that we have also given and uh, from here you can get that source code and finally this is the uh, step forth where we uh, show a simple blink and led project so if you can complete it till this step, this is very very helpful. This is required because you should make your project work till this stage. This is very important. So now I assume that you have done it till this step and your Visual Studio Code project that is explained in this step 4 is running and your device is also working correctly. What I mean is that this so far you have completed that your LED is connected to pin number 23 in that video it is 22 here I have just changed it to 23 because in the code that I have assembled in the uh, project that I have assembled for this tutorial this pin is connected to 23 and in that tutorial it is 22 so come and get it ready till this point and now let me explain the circuit of these LEDs that I have connected and I will come back to my uh, this uh, here I will show you the uh, circuit that I have connected this is an LED connected to 23 D23 through a resistance of 150 ohm all resistances are 150 ohm quarter watt or whatever wattage you get whatever tolerance you get and it should be 150 or nearby it doesn't matter actually then you have a d21 similarly this is d16 d16 is not printed many times and in its place rx is there rx2 or something if you can't find this rx2 find another pin d18 and connect it there and change it there uh, change it in the code that i will give you in a moment and the third LED is your connected to D4 and all of them go through their respective resistances to the ground pin of this module. So this is the simple circuit and this is the first LED that will be controlled. This is the second, this is the third. These are the bit numbers that you must have seen. I have just put them here so that you can just understand that this will be our bit 1 this is our bit 1 here and 1 here and you can see the ASP.NET Core project that I have explained in the previous tutorial this is not relevant for this circuit it is only for your understanding that I have written here so your next step now your next step now is to get the main.cs file that I have attached you can see it in the attached uh, downloads this main.csc file is attached and don't make any changes except this server address if you have a different address you will definitely have different address as in your asp.net core application it is listening on this port so set the same server address here the ssid of your own wi-fi and password of your own wi-fi I have hard coded them because it was easier for me to do but in a commercial project there are ways in which you can always put these passwords uh, through an external means. I will not take them up but in case you are interested you can write to me uh, we can have some sort of a solution for that also. You don't need to make any other change just you have to copy this and uh, you can make some effort in understanding it if I can explain it a bit here. 
now this is uh, your message based system that we have done these are some uh, messages that will move around on timer tick wi-fi failed wi-fi connected uh, some switches are updated in that case these are the messages and these are for logging and this is the event queue you will need some sort of understanding to better understand them these are the events for wi-fi disconnected and all this is for the http client that will make your api requests to your asp.net application and this is the server handler which will receive uh, requests coming from your uh, remote a uh, remote asp.net core application and some login and shutdown this is the main function and uh, you will have to take some time to understand all this from documentation because it is not a part of this course and it is in itself a big task to go through all the finer details but i have put documentation wherever i put comments wherever it is possible for me so that you can make some sense out of uh, this code that is uh, working here so let us now copy this code i have done control a control c i have copied this code and closed this uh, was opened in visual studio and now i come to my blinking project this is the main.cs file i am selecting it all deleting it all and pasting that project if it shows some errors don't worry they automatically get resolved i have saved it and uh, now it's time i've connected this to my computer right now later on we can remove it and now it's time for me to upload and compile this code but before that i will have to enter my own wi-fi password and all so that it compiles perfectly i'll just scroll to the top i'm scrolling fast and it is about here I will make those changes and then I will scroll down so that my own password is not visible. So once I have entered my password and now it's time for me to build. You can see in the lower left corner I will build it first of all and I will ensure that it builds to success. It is all going in real time and let it build and it succeeds and now it is time for me to upload it to the microcontroller uh, to the device and uh, you can see that this uh, uploading will begin soon the led will stop blinking and in its place the red led is blinking this is now blinking because the code is being uploaded and let it complete so now it is completed and uh, this is continuously blinking because it has been programmed in such a way that it keeps on searching for the ASP.NET Core server which I have not yet started. So once your upload is complete in the next tutorials we will now run it and uh, verify that everything works okay. I'll close it right now. Thank you.